Hello friends, in this video we will learn about subnetting and supernetting. So subnetting is a concept where we want to split a block to a smaller size. The objective of this is so that when the block is of a smaller size you can efficiently manage your block and also you can allocate the resources to the blocks depending on the I mean, the requirement of the company or the organization. So there are two basic objectives of splitting. One is to efficiently utilizing your network or uh, uh, allocating the IPs to a uh, smaller block so that can be effectively utilized, maintained and as well as you can also allocate the resources to the different blocks as per the company policy. So subnetting is also called three level addressing. Two level addressing is a concept where the 32 bits is divided into network and host bit and further you can divide these bits into one more label and that is called subnetting. So this is one scenario where this is one larger block of class B you can see here uh, 16 bits is actually assigned for the network so so you can have 2 power 16 IPs can be generated here and all these IPs are a part of this block and there is so far there is no subnetting is done and there is no sub block is formed this is only one block now this is what actually is required so this is you can see this is a larger block having 2 power 16 IPs in this block and a company wants to divide these IPs into four smaller blocks so that the smaller block can be allocated to different departments maybe and these can be effectively uh, managed and can uh, and also the resources can be utilized and can be allocated to different blocks so this is what is required that 2 power 16 IPs to be divided into four blocks of equal size they can be also unequal size they can be equal size but in this example we are assuming that the company wants to divide into four equal size blocks so this is a subnet 1 subnet 2 subnet 3 and subnet 4 so in generally when whenever you want to do a kind of subnetting within your organization we need a router that can take care of individual a subnet so whatever comes to this block will be handled by this external router and the packet will be coming to this router and the router will be forwarding this to the internal router and then internal router will take care to forward to the individual subnet now this subnet is something which is actually transparent to the uh, outside world I mean this is the internal organization or the internal structure within the company which is not visible to the outside world so whatever it comes to the uh, to this block is actually coming to this router and then it is to be handled by this internal router which is within the block so you can see here that this is represented by select 16 that is each uh, means the size of this block is 2 power 16 2 power 16 addresses are actually assigned as block and just have a look to this flash value of internal uh, subnet so here we are 18 18 18 18 that means now 18 bits is actually assigned to the network so what is left you have left with 14 so now each block will have 2 power 14 IPs uh, possible in their you know kind of this block Okay, now see what is network mask and subnet mask. Network mask is basically a kind of default mask which is which says that how many bits are assigned for the network. So we this is the network ID and bits are assigned and the host ID the remaining 32 minor n bits will be assigned here. Some network mask, mask means that uh, how many bits are assigned for the subnet. One thing to remember here that when we form a net a subnetwork these bits are always the subnet bits are always taken from the host id bits what does it mean it means that uh, if you have any network with n bits and if you are going to do a subnet then you need some more bits and that bits you are keeping 
uh, which you will be taking from the host ID. So if you look at this scenario, we have network bits here and this is host ID bit. When I make a subnet, then some of the host ID bits is given to this subnet and that's make a subnet mask. So the concept remain the same. When you are doing a subnetting, then you need to keep all the bits that is given to subnet that makes the subnet mask. And also we have a formula to find out the subnet mask. This is called n sub. This is the bits assigned for the subnet mask equals to n, where n is the length of the network ID and log s base 2, which where s is the number of subnet required. So in the previous case, uh, if you look to the previous case, here uh, we have uh, 2 power 16 IPs are available and we want to make 4 subnet. We want to make 4 subnet. So if I want to find out how many bits I can assign to get 4 networks, uh, we can use this formula. So number of bits in the network is 16 in the previous case and we want 4 subnet. So you can write here log 2 4 which is nothing but will be 16 plus 2 that is 18 that means now 18 bits will be in the subnetwork i have taken two bits from the host to make a subnet so in the previous scenario we have 16 bits for the network and 16 bits for the host so in order to make the four subnets we need we, we need 18 bits that means 16 is already there and i have taken means two bits from the host so now host will have only 14 bits left so you can say that 18 bits will be the subnet bits and the 14 bits for the host that also means that each subnet will now have 2 power i uh, 14 ips in its network let us take example we can find the subnet address by using any of the address within that block so i am using this uh, example to find the so you can see here we will referring this example here we have one larger block and out of this larger block we have divided into four sub blocks and each block is having a range given from here to here and one need to one uh, one thing you need to remember that when we do the sub blocking these addresses are allocated contiguously that means uh, the first address starts from the starting of this address of the network and the address which is next to the first block will be the first address of the second subnet. Similarly, the first address of the third subnet will be immediately after the last address of the second subnet. And this is how we are allocating the addresses to the subnets. So here we can see that we have uh, network ID 16 bits and subnet uh, ID is 18 bits. And now we can find out some information. So let us find the subnetwork information. Subnet address is basically the first address of the subnet and it is also called the subnet ID. As we know that the first address of any network will be not assigned to any host because it has a special meaning. Normally we are using this address for the identification of the network. So if there is any subnetwork, then the first uh, address is actually the subnet ID or a subnet address. So this is a one address that is belonging to the block two. We have seen in the previous means uh, in the case that we have one block. We have divided it into the four sub blocks. So this is one address that is a part of second block. We need to find out the subnet ID or the subnet address. Means what is the first address of this block? So we can find out by using our uh, means formula to find out the first address. Now, to find out the first address, we need to know the mask. So we know we, we know that the mask is actually uh, uh, we have 18 bits for the subnet. Already we have seen 18 bits for the subnet. So the mask will be 255 dot 255 and uh, 192 .0. This is the subnet mask. And to find out the first address, we simply apply the and. Uh, with the mask and the any address given to you so you will find 141 that 14 
and then you need to find out this this we cannot do it directly as here we can do directly but here need to calculate and then this is uh, zero so how to find 120 and 192 so you can when you do this you will find that this is uh, equivalent to uh, 64 when you solve this you will find this is equal to 64 so this is the first address which is also the subnet address of this address means uh, this address belongs to this particular subnet and we can see here that 141.14.64 is actually 141.14.64.0 is actually the network uh, subnet address of this subnet so we can see that uh, it's very easy to find out the subnet information you can find that what is the first address, the last address, the number of address in any subnet. We can also design our uh, network by doing subnetting. The only thing you must remember that uh, the number of addresses in the subnet must be always in the power of 2. We cannot make any subnet which is not a power of 2. What does it mean? It means in, the, in, in, in every subnet, the number of addresses must be 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, something like that. We will not form any subnet which is something like of size 15 or size 19. This is actually not a, a, a not a valid number. Uh, always the number of addresses will be in the power of two. This is one thing you need to remember every time. And one more thing to remember that uh, as in the network, we are also applying all the properties of network to the subnetwork as well uh, means the first and last address are reserved they are having a special meaning the first address will be the will be the address of its id means that is the subnet network uh, subnet adver, uh, address that is not used for assigning to the host but will be kept as an identity of its own subnet similarly the last address is used as a broadcast address which is not assigned to the host but it is used to assign a packet to all the hosts within the network so uh, this is how we can easily uh, do the subnetting and uh, I would like to take one more example to uh, just uh, revise the concept of subnetting so let's say if I am having uh, these bits I have assigned to the network and I want to make uh, eight subnets I want to make eight subnets and I have assigned this 24 bits to the network now to logically you can easily find out to uh, to get the eight networks out of the eight bits because 24 is actually the network bits then eight will be the host bit now to get the eight subnet out of eight bits how many bits need to be reserved to get 8 subnet we will be using 3 bits because 2 power 3 is actually 8 so out of these 8 bits from the host we will be using 3 bits to make a subnet and the remaining 5 bits will be the number of addresses that is um, that exist in each subnet that means if this is a scenario then 5 bits are left that means 2 power 5 that is 32 ips will be possible in each subnet and how and uh, how many bits we have assigned for the subnet so directly you can see this is 24 plus 3 which is so this is uh, 27 will be the subnet bits we have assigned and with the using this you can also find the subnet mass subnet mass means now you will keep out of 32 bits you can keep all bits all first 27 bits equals to 1 and remaining 5 bits to 0 and that gives you the subnet mass you can also find this using this formula that is n plus so n is what n is 24 plus log 28 which is 24 plus 3 that is 27 so by using this formula you can find the number of bits assigned for subnet because it's always required to find the number of bits because unless you know the number of bits assigned to the subnet you cannot find a subnet mask and if you don't know the subnet mask you cannot find other information like the first address and the last address so there is always required to find out how many bits you are assigning from the subnet mask and the last point which i need to make you again 
uh, clear that subnet bits are always taking from the host ID bits. Supernetting is something reverse where you are just uh, combining the small blocks to get a larger block. Now why this is required? This is sometimes required when you have a smaller blocks given to you and you want to make a larger network. What does it mean? It means let's say the company is having uh, three blocks of type C. So in type C we know that uh, we have 24 bits for the network and 8 bits for the host. So that means in each network we can have only 2 power 8 host, uh, 2 power 8 IPs are possible that is 256. So 256 IPs are only possible. So if a company wants to have a larger network of these many addresses then with this uh, kind of configuration is not possible. So the one approach is company can combine the three small networks of C type. So in order to get this thousand definitely we will be getting no, uh, not three but we have to take four means you know C blocks. So 256, 256, 256, 256 and this will be more than th means 1000 addresses. So one scenario is which seems to be possible that you can combine four smaller blocks to get a larger block and this is a reverse of subnet marks so we can see how the bits are allocated in the subnet marks so this is what we have seen that normally if we use a class c then this is 24 bits for the network and 8 bits for the host so n is 24 which is a network so here you can see that if you want to do a subnet out of this kind of network you want to make me say smaller blocks let's say you want eight blocks that means definitely you need three bits so three bits will be taken from the host so out of these eight bits you have taken three bits from the host to make three subnets and then what is left is five bits are left here and what is the number of bits in the subnet that is 24 plus 3 27 so this is how we do in the subnetting but in the supernetting this is something reverse here we are going to increase our block size in the subnet we are actually decreasing the block size into a smaller blocks but in the supernet we want to increase our uh, block size and you must know that the number of network bits must be less means host id bits must be more to get a larger block size so that means instead of reducing the bits means instead of keeping the bits from the host id we need to uh, key, uh, means take the bits from the network id and assign these bits to the host that then, then only it's possible to means you know means increase the network size so here you can see this is just reverse here you have means uh, means taken the three bits from the from the host id now the three bits you will be taking and adding to the host id so your subnet uh, bits will be 24 minus 3 21 and number of host bits will, are increasing that means it will increase the size of the network so this is something which was actually uh, proposed but not we are not actually using much out of it now we are using classless so we, it's not required but when we are having a kind of uh, means the lack of or a shortage of address space these techniques are proposed so that we can efficiently use the blocks available to us. So I hope you understood the concept of supernetting and subnetting and we will see more about the couple of networks in our uh, next videos. Thank you very much.